Now, the next topic, we're going to hit on the NFL again, which I guess the the Jim Harbaugh topic could have been considered an NFL topic. But this Brian Flores lawsuit that has come out, uh, first off, I, I try and look at everything from both sides of the aisle. So I don't want to get too knee-deep in racism in the NFL. I don't want to go into that. But there were other things in that lawsuit that came out that were very interesting to me, right? It's it, We won't talk the discrimination or, or whatever else because there's a lot back and forth on that. Chris, the tampering and the tanking were two really big things that it's almost like they didn't want you to really pay attention to this. It was just something that if you're a, a minority coach or just a coach, period, you're going to be forced to deal with things like this. So, for example, he said Stephen Ross, the owner of the Miami Dolphins, was willing to pay him $100,000 for every loss that he took in his first year, which kind of makes you look at Steve Wilkes and the Cardinals or David Culley and the Texans this year, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, looking at what they did and some of the decisions that were made in some of these close losses that they had, okay, was this a tank job or was this them actually trying to win games? We talked in Flores' first year about how good the Dolphins were playing and how they did not tank at all. They continued to play hard. They wanted to win games and they tried to win games, which apparently started this whole tenure off on the wrong foot anyway. And then, of course, there is the story about the free agent quarterback, the prominent free agent quarterback, uh, going to meet with Stephen Ross on a yacht and Ross inviting Brian Flores to kind of get them acclimated to each other. We're going to make a push for this guy and da-da-da-da-da. Everybody thinks it was Tom Brady. It could have been any number of people. Who knows? Um, But I'm curious your thoughts on this, what it means for the integrity of the game. What is this going to mean for Stephen Ross? I think everybody knows that this stuff goes on, but they have to have rules in place with fines, etc., to at least keep up the appearance that there is integrity in some of these situations. Does this change anything? So, the, the, I, I don't care about tampering. I just don't. I think that's dumb. If a player wants to go somewhere and they're a free agent, you can talk to them whenever the hell you want. And if you can sell them, you can sell them. Like, I don't give a shit about any of that. And I also, like, I don't like tanking, but I fully understand it, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's not something I appreciate or want or – you know agree with but i definitely understand it and and i think the math checks out by the way on on doing it and so um i just don't think you can legislate against that like like the fact that he offered him money to 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 lose games the problem is the racism the problem is the prejudice the problem has always been steve wilkes was asked to tank and outside of every i've been on this for you know, since his since the year he got fired, is is you, we want to finish last. We want this kid, Kyler Murray. Okay, great. No team was more successful that missed the playoffs than the Arizona Cardinals that year that came in dead last because they had an objective and they're the only team that missed the playoffs that met their objective. Okay? They're the only one. Nobody else True. met an objective. So, to fire him and to not let him coach the fruits of that, you know, uh, uh, labor, and then now that record goes against him forever on his resume bothers me, all right? I I hate that stuff. Same thing that just happened to David Cully. They won four games that I didn't think that they could win this year, by the way, all right? True. That means they won four games, period, because I thought they were the worst team in football. The fact that Cully's not going to be a part of this rebuild – and we think they knew that when they hired him, they were just scampering for a coach and took anybody. And they basically used this year as a reset. That's a shitty situation for them to have done that with a minority hire. This is why a couple of years ago when Byron Leftwich was interviewing for jobs, and I said on this show, don't do it. Don't take that shit job, man. I promise you better jobs will come around. Just wait and be patient but you know what i might have been wrong because better jobs might not come around for these guys it doesn't look like they're going to the the allegations of the tanking and the tampering are just two things i don't care about 
I don't like tanking. I wish we could get it out of professional sports or, or any sport. The issue is, is I don't know how you legislate that. If I don't know how to properly legislate it or do it in a, in a correct way and the math works out to be beneficial, then, you know, the, I, I think it would be wrong to enforce rules against teams that do that. Okay. Like, like if you want to change it up and say, we're going to have a playoff for the bottom four teams in the league every year and the best team will get the number one spot in, in the, you know, the, the second and we'll work our way backwards from the bottom four. That's different. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I, I don't care. It gives us more football to watch during these playoffs. All right. You got True. some good playoffs. You get the shitty playoffs. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with all of that. My, I, I just can't get fired up about it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. The problem that Brian's going to have an issue with is proving the other stuff. See, you can prove that because you got you got emails, you got you know you got texts, you got whatever yeah. uh, promises in a contract or whatnot uh, for losing games. It's really, really, really hard to prove the racism, which which makes it makes it very difficult. Now, the the proving the skating of the roomy rule. We now, thanks to Bill Belichick's uh, lack of being good at technology, which, hey, I, I am actually really forgiving of this because I do this all the time. <laughs> I cannot t- – I've got four different people named David in my phone right now. I, I probably have more than that, but I have four that I text regularly. And, and I text the wrong one all the time. And every one of them always says, just put my last name in. No, no, no. How your name went in my phone is how it's in for the rest of eternity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not changing it, all right? Now, if you ever get to be an Apple phone product, an iPhone guy, they're all Android guys. That's why it's a problem. Then Apple automatically changes it for me. You get to say what it shows up as my phone. So um, that's neither here nor there. I understand him making that mistake because I've made it many, many times. I do oh, yes. Every, every month I do it at least once. Um, but we've got some documentation that the Giants openly skirted the Rooney rule. They openly wasted it. Now he 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 said that he felt like the uh, the Broncos did the same thing, but the problem is is proof. Now it's his word against Elway's word, and Elway came out with a statement today, and 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 argued you know against it and said that was you know insulting and wrong and all this other stuff. That's fine. Those things are really hard to prove. Now we've got yes. proof on the Giants. We we got proof on the Giants. So um, it, it's it's how do you prove the other things? And, and I don't. And here's the problem: I don't have solutions for any of this stuff. By the way, I I don't. It, it is insane to me that we have 30, 32 NFL teams. And we have one black head coach when seventy to eighty percent of the players, are, you know, are black. Like that, I, that math has never made sense to me. I do think that the league and the reporters try to play both sides of this. You know, they yeah. they prop up these other guys some of which I've never heard of or, or never followed at all to, to be these, to be the, the next coaches. And then they complain that, that these black coaches aren't getting a chance. Well, well, you're the ones out here propping up these dudes that half the people have never heard of, you know? True. So the, the Byron left, which, uh, so it, it is pretty apparent. He is not going to be the next Jaguars coach. Yep. Uh, the Raiders interim coach, uh, Rich, and I forget his last name, he and Doug Peterson are both, it looks like they're getting second interviews. Those look to be the two finalists, but obviously we'll see. Uh, Brian Flores, even with this lawsuit and everything else that's going on, he appears to be a finalist for the Texans job. Yeah, yeah. And, that, you know, that's another, right now it's looking like a really bad job. But I wonder, can he convince Deshaun Watson to, to play? Well, I think you have to convince the owners to let him play. I, I, I've got to imagine because if you're David Cully, like he was, he was available all year. Yeah, but like he, he he wasn't playing for Cully. He wanted he wanted out. He wanted out. He wanted to be a part of the hiring, you know, search. Of course, he wanted to be a part of the GM search, all that stuff. I understand. I understand owners not listening to players when they're hiring management personnel. Okay. Yeah, I I totally understand that. Most of these players make terrible GMs, all right? Uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers fought like hell to get Randall Cobb uh, on the Packers. And Randall Cobb was pretty mediocre to shitty, all right? Like, yeah. like you want all these guys, but the guys that you bring in aren't very good, all right? There's a reason we don't let you make these decisions, okay? You're a dumbass football player. Now, don't be a dumbass <laughs> football player, all right? But Truth. that 
that's not all of them are dumbass football players. Some of them turn out to be smart guys that can run organizations, and 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 we've seen that. But but I just while you're on the field, I'm not taking. I'm not hiring my GM because you want it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.